Hello, procrastinators, and welcome to Nerd Cube's Hell. Disappointingly, it's Godzilla for the PS4. This thing just came out, and it is just disappointing. I'm a huge monster movie fan. I absolutely loved the most recent Godzilla film. I was very, very, very excited for this. And it is a budget PS2 game for an extortionate price. And I will point out that most of my issues with this game is its price point. This game is uh, £40, which is a full price release on the PS3, and £45 on the PS4. If you that's, So that's a £5 difference between the PS3 and the PS4. If you're in Europe, that is a €20 Euro difference. There's actually, they jump up €20 Euros between versions. And if you're in Australia, it goes up by $30. Neither of those are anywhere near £5 when you convert them, so I don't know what the fuck is going on with the pricing of this game. Incidentally, what you're watching now, the opening cutscene, is the best bit of the game. If this, this has all that wonderful potential and happiness and it's... it's Godzilla! It's 2014 Godzilla and he's in this too and he's gonna shit up old shit Godzilla who looks like he's just been in the shower far, far, far too long. Look, he's all like, ooh, laser beams, rah! And, yeah. That is the best bit of the whole thing. Is that bit there. And it's over now. I hope you enjoyed it. So, what is Godzilla? Godzilla is a flaming mess. Uh, let's continue... Right, these are the modes you have. God of Destruction mode, this is the main campaign thing. I have finished it. I, I played through it once. You have to play through it many, many, many times to unlock anything, everything. Or pretty much anything, actually. Uh, but I have finished the God of Destruction mode once. It took an hour. So you'll be replaying essentially the same game over and over again that's only an hour long. Which is nice. Uh, King of Kaiju, that's just monster battling. Monster battling is in this, but it's basically just a bo uh, boss rush kind of mode. Versus mode is online. Uh, evolution mode is the upgrading system. So you unlock, like, uh, evolution points and bits of other creatures that you can then stick in your character. Uh, and you then stick them in evolution mode. When we hit this, you get this. All evolution speed here will not transfer data currently in progress in God of Destruction mode. The campaign is so short that leveling up doesn't actually change anything until the next time you play the campaign. Seriously. Seriously. That's re- like, and it took for, like, I've- remember I've completed the campaign once. I can unlock Charge version 2. I can't unlock these things. After playing through it once. I can unlock this, but I can't- I can't do these things. Because, yeah, I mean, that one takes 500 evolution energy. I never met Jet Jaguar or Gigan. Why don't you get on the stash of Enterprise? Uh, yes, you can from here unlock other characters. You can play as all the characters you unlock. This is a cool thing about the game. Oh, I will also point out that on his, uh, tech tree, You've got upgrading his charge gauge, 180 degree turn or that, and they'll have things coming off of them. But everything down here is for the diorama mode. These aren't actually upgrades. They're just a, they're a complete waste of your evolution points, unless you like to take pretty photos of things. We'll get there later. Look, there's Godzilla, and there's another Godzilla. I can't afford anything for these because they have their own individual evolution energy. It's not like a big sum that you can then upgrade the characters. You only can upgrade the characters you play as. Um, so you have to play them from- you can't just, like, upgrade a character and then play as it. It's super powers you have to play and sort of shitty. But it's fine, because I never died once during the campaign anyway. Or I will say I took the easy top path, because I was just trying to get through it and see what the game was like. And up to the 20 minute point, I was like, oh god, is this all there is? Uh, so there's lots of possible level like you do. We can- we can buy a new character that we can play as later. Let's unlock you. Yes, I've unlocked you. And so they have their own upgrade. Well, they have two things. Gauge and charge. This is all, again, the diorama mode. Uh, these two were unlocked already for some reason because I had the it's a digital download version or something where the extortionate prices happen. Um, if you can pick this game up for £5, consider this not a hell video. This game is about 5 If If you can pick this game up for £5 and you're a huge Godzilla fan, yes. Otherwise, no. It's just so disappointing. Then there's diorama mode where you pose little virtual action figures and take photos of them. Imagine Gran Turismo's photo mode, but with way less options, and you have to spend your evolution points to unlock these things. So it's just a... And you, know, you can't put them absolutely anywhere. There's only, like, specific slots you can put them in. And... Yeah. Then there's the, the Kaiju Guide, where you can just look at stats for all the creatures. If that's the thing you want. And then there's the settings, where I fixed the audio! 
This is what I had to do to make this a Godzilla game. Music, piss off, sound effects, piss off, voice, really piss off. Raw maximum! If there is a nuclear explosion happening, and Godzilla is standing next to it roaring, I expect the roaring to be louder. That is the point. Oh, and here you can change cinema mode, so you can do it in colour film instead of colour video or monochrome film or... Yeah, there we go. Look, so you can play it at 60 FPS. <laughs> Normal speed. Yeah, 60, my fucking ass. Or 24 FPS. There is an option to put this game down at 24 FPS. <sighs> Just... <sighs> right, let's go into God of Destruction mode. In here there's other options. But they're all essentially identical. So there's Go Ashore mode, which is just Godzilla fucking shit up. That is the main campaign. There's Invade mode, which is exactly the same, apart from it's for all the other characters. So in here you get to choose who you want to be. I unlocked... I just unlocked What's-His-Face. Why can't I play as him? Oh, is he a defend? Is he a goodie? Yes, there's also defense mode. I assume it's exactly the fucking same. Um, then there's Resume Progress Tutorial, blah, 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 blah. Right. Uh, I'm currently playing through a defend mode. Not defend mode, an invade mode, I believe. I believe I was. How do I... I resume progress. Yes, I'm playing through with... Uh... Now, let's start one from the beginning. Screw it. We'll start from the beginning with uh, the original Godzilla. We'll do... Back. We'll do go ashore mode. Yes, yes, yes. My progress will be overwritten. Tutorial can be viewed at any time. Tutorial is awful. It doesn't tell you most of the gameplay, which is really, really irritating. You get this thing in the corner where very, very, very... Poorly written or poorly translated lines turn up. Joshua Four's about to get low. Ah! Hang on a second. While you're waiting, why not go visit the Dad Cube channel where me and him are playing Lego Jurassic World. It's like Godzilla, but real, and then made of Lego. Right, I'm back, I've reset everything. Does anybody else find it really hard to charge PS4 controllers? Because they don't charge for my PS4 anymore. My PS4 just refuses to charge them. So I plug them into my computer and they only sort of get picked up half time. They don't charge if I plug them into a, a USB that's attached to a power socket for some reason. They just don't charge very well. And I've got two and they have the exact same issue. And I just, I don't know what, it's like, because that light, that fucking stupid light on the back of them, whatever the fucking point of that is, has big, just, it just, it lights up and that lighting up means the battery dies immediately. I put these fucking controllers in hell mode. That stupid fucking light, let me turn that off and I'll just dim it. Anyway. Back to the pile of shit. See that thing in the distance? That's a generator. Every single level of this fucking game, you have to destroy those. Every objective, destroy the generators. Sometimes another kaiju will pop up, but deliver it every single level, destroy the generators. It's so dull. This, ga this game is dull. How does a Godzilla game be dull as well as budget and PS2? Look at the textures on that. That thing's about the size of Godzilla, and look at the texture work they bothered. I've seen a lot of people say, oh, this is like a, a bit PS3 budget game. This is verging on PS2 levels. Right. Here's the controls. To move forwards, left analog stick forwards. To move back, left analog stick back. To move left, left analog stick left. To move right, left analog stick right. How do you turn? Well, does he follow the camera? No, right analog stick is just that. And if I now push forwards, he'll just walk forwards. To turn... You push L1 or R1. There is no way of changing that. Uh, okay. It's kind of, I see why they kind of wanted to do that. So you could be all like, look, Godzilla's shooting people up with laser beams. Woo! But it really doesn't work. It really doesn't work. It's just... It doesn't make me feel, hey, look, I'm Godzilla. It makes me feel, wait, hang on, wait, what's the controls again? Bang. There we go. The, the nicest thing that I can say about these controls is... You sort of get used to them after a while. Right, so Godzilla gains height with everything that he destroys. It's like the slowest game of Katamari in the world. Uh, you have, as you can see, near the bottom right, there's destruction rate. If you 100% every level, you'll get bigger and you'll get... The bigger you are, the stronger you are. So you have to go up and destroy everything. Absolutely everything. Uh, if you want to do it. Incidentally, on some levels, I can't destroy everything. I've tried vigorously to destroy everything and can't because it'll say, Oh, 98% completion, and I cannot find the last things that are left standing anywhere. So, that's annoying. That's annoying as all balls. Hey, tanks. Squish, 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 squish. Alright, and yeah, so it's basically go up and stuff and push triangle. Can you be killed? Well, I don't know, because I... The, the kaiju may put that to the test, but the military have got nowhere near doing that for me yet. You have this move. Flarb. 
Laser beams are everywhere. That's like the only way you can take down helicopters, really, is that. So yeah, above the, the mini-map on the left there, there's temperature. That needs to be up to maximum for you to do your uh, laser beam and majigs. I believe what, that's what the gauge upgrades will therefore increase. Uh, so once the maximum, you can push circle to go blarg. Or you can push up and circle and then pray. Pray to all of the gods that there are that it actually registers up and circle. Because the up moves... Do not work, right? This is up and triangle is supposed to be grab. So triangle is this. Nah. Up and triangle is the no. That's not up and triangle. Up and triangle. That one. You have to push up and triangle like at the same time. I find it incredibly hard. To no, I find it incredibly hard to pull off. You can hear me you doing it as well. It's, it's just, just doesn't work. Power doesn't work. Uh, you can push L B R B R one R one. That's the ones. And you do a roar. While you do that, you're invincible. That's how you deal with the shields that we're going to come up to later on. Yeah, he really only moves this fast as well. I know he's supposed to be, you know, giant monster and slow and all that, but yeah. But don't worry, though, because the levels are absolutely fucking tiny. Like, all the levels are just tiny little things. Hang on, laser beam them away. Blarb. That got them. Yeah, this is not running at 60. This is, this is not running at 60. Stamp on tanks. Right, here's a few things that piss me off, like, immediately. Godzilla isn't leaving footprints. How the fuck? Seriously, there's no footprints. There's no there's no damage beyond you've hit the thing and then it dies. Watch, if I punch this building, there will be no damage to the building. Hang, hang on. There. The lights flicker and then it explodes. There's no... I, I really hoped with the power of the PS4, we'd get almost red faction levels of destruction. I mean, these are really small levels. I assumed that would be nice and easy. Bit of red faction style destruction, but no. Look at it, look at it. It's I can't get over here. This is the dead end, you see. You can tell that because it's quite clearly just a dead end. 100% destruction, hooray! That disaster level that's filling up in the middle, that goes across to all of the levels. So does your height. I increased by three meters. Oh, but that shows. Blarb. Uh, there's no, uh, there's no lock on for your laser breath stuff. The, uh, there's no lock on whatsoever. Uh, you can't aim it in any way. So you basically just have to push the button and pray that he destroys the helicopters or rely on that laser beam that just goes everywhere. So it's sort of like, will you destroy it? Yes, he did. He managed to get that one. But the range has to be perfect. Too close, too far away, you ain't getting nothing. Anyway, I've stomped my way over to the generator. Uh, oh, I've missed out a huge feature of this game. Because they're not on my minimap on this level for some reason. Normally they're just on the minimap. Should probably be listening to the lady that I turned off. So you can see the bottom right. Oh, hang on, that thing's about to go nuts. Right, see the bottom right. Oh, hang on, let's try and find the exact right spot. There! Every now and then, one of those numbers will fill up, and you go to this mode for a while, and... Ah, oh, that's why they're not on my minimap, because I've done them before. Oh, they're purple dots on my minimap now, because I've done them. But yeah, you get these little spots where if you push a button, you can sort of just watch Godzilla from there. The lady was like, you can... Oh, we have to collect data about Godzilla to build bigger weapons against him. <laughs> but, um... Apparently you have to actually do that yourself. You click the button and then it's like, hey, look, it's Godzilla! Blah, and then you have to wait a while. And you have to stand in a really tiny area. I don't understand what that's there for. Or what it even unlocked. And if it was against me, why would I bother doing it? Anyway, this is the generator. You hit it and it gradually starts to fall down. Oh, hang on, it's doing the thing. Roar, you'll be thrown backwards! I roared... Smash. No, look, there's no destruction. The only thing that happens is they light up from the top to the bottom. You'll see they just start, like, lighting up when they get too damaged there. They're, they're just going, oh, I tried to roar, but I was doing the move. Oh, no. Again, no real health damage. Laser beam it. Blarg. Yeah, I do damage. Now just hit it with your tail. Is it dead yet? No, hit it again. Hug it. Ah, yeah, there we go. Push it over. Did it. So that's the first level, and every level. Apart from that is the best level. Because all the other levels have really annoying invisible... Not invisible walls. Very, very visible invisible walls. Scare. Yeah, nobody cares. The plot is awful. I like that whichever way you pick in the plot, you get different... See, I've collected that. But they on that way. We can go easy or hard now. I'm going to go for the harder one and see what happens. So, the yeah, you... um. Oh, it's Godzilla. Yeah, as you play through, they get, like, different Prime Ministers elected who are different difficulties. Which, I suppose it's fun, it's just a difficulty selecting, really. Alright, Godzilla into house. Who are we battling against? New Prime Minister. Good. Destroy all the generators. Extra bonus conditions. Destroy some trucks. 
Oh, that's pissing! Wow, I thought if you went for the different levels, they'd be different levels. But on this path, I've actually played this level on the easy paths. So it looks like there are only like six or seven levels. Brilliant! Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Was the, was the game just filled up or something? A lot of this game takes place in dust as well. Smash this thing, it's firing at me. This is like their big defense. It has like a few guns and that's it. I don't know what the point of any of this thing is. But okay. Did it! Okay. Rotate. 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 Right. Charge! Stamp on them. Kill them off. You bored yet? I fucking hate how you can't destroy trees! Can't destroy trees! Can't destroy fences! Can walk through bigger things! But fences? No! Can't destroy fences? Who do you think you are? Godzilla? It's just- there's just blatantly obvious bits just standing around. Look. No fence destruction. Can't attack them. Can't destroy lampposts. No one ever moves. There's no movement on the fucking floor. There's a few stationary trucks. Even the tanks are stationary. The only thing that moves are the helicopters and jets. Nothing on the ground actually moves. It's just pathetic. It, it really is pathetic. At just how... Duh. I want this to be so good. I really want this to be so good. Look, the tanks don't move. They just sit there. Piece of shit. Smash, smash, yes, yes, yes. It's You play this, and for the first 20 minutes or so, you'll have a, a good time. And then you're trying to destroy... I mean, because I could just run through and destroy the generators, but then I wouldn't power up enough, and then the kaiju would be too hard to beat. So you have to basically grind your way through the levels. I can't be able to do that anymore, so I'm just going to destroy these. Death to it! Destroy it! Hug it! Yeah, do the hug maneuver. That didn't seem to do much damage at all. Roar at it! Because that makes me immortal. Laser beam it, right in the face. Arrgh. Oh, look at all the clipping errors as well. I mean, I'm just going through it. It's so, it's like, I never thought I'd find combat like worse looking than Skyrim's. It looks like I've found it. No, Oblivion's, I would have said, was really bad. Skyrim sort of, at least things bounce off shields in Skyrim's. It's just straight through. I mean, like, because my tail is also doing all the destruction, but my tail should just cause destruction as is. Now, oh, that was me forgetting where the, uh, the button was. The tower should just cause destruction if it hits, but watch. Nothing. Straight through. Tail's going through. Pretty much just walk right into these things. Walk into stuff and gently damage it. Let's roar into it. Wonder what's inside there. Well, I guess I'll find out. Hmm, now I'm mostly inside that thing. This remember that this is a full price release, alright? Same price as fucking the Witcher, this thing. Piss off the lot of ya. Now. Uh, right. Oh, good! We have to fight a kaiju! What is it? Who is it this time? Please be someone fun who I haven't battled yet. It is! I don't have a fucking clue! I'm on! Who's that kaiju? It's... I don't know. <laughs> Plastic Bagmon. I don't know why he's at night. They all have their introductions that they have. Like, that one was introduced at night for some reason, even though it's not night. Some of them just are in broad daylight when it is night. Some of them burst out from space. Well, he's quite big. Is this because this is on hard mode? Is he going to be, like, way bigger than me? Yep, see, this is the sort of shit you have to deal with as well. That they sometimes are just massively bigger than you. So, good luck! Laser beam! La my, my general plan is laser beam and back off. Yep. Draw, if he's going in for an attack. You can't actually... There's no... Because you can play as all the characters, their attacks have to be quite quick, otherwise it would be dull to play as. Uh, the unfortunate thing there means that you can't actually tell when to hit them or not. Laser beam, that should blow them away for a while. This is when the game really shines. It's when it's big monster versus big monster. And it should have been just this. It really should. They should have put a lot more time and effort into this. Less effort... Well, they didn't put much into the campaign, but... A lot more effort into this would have been so much better. Yeah, he's like a hundred meters. You, you'll never be as tall as him for this. It's just a real tricky fight. No block button. But yeah, no, as I was saying. Ah, there, look, there's, you can tell I'm getting damaged now because I've got those things down the sides. Oh, no, have I been killed? Yeah, okay, so hard mode just hands it out. Just get my ass handed to me when giant monsters turn up. Great. You can't, you don't know if they're about to laser beam because you can play as the characters. So when it's, when it's like, is he going to attack? You don't have time to put, because you've got that, you push both buttons and then there's actually a bit of time before he does the defensive immortality because you have no other block. The thing's already attacked. So you have to guess before the AI attacks. 
It's dumb. It's so dumb. Yes, I want to return to the main menu. I'm going to play as someone who isn't shit. I, re I don't like... That's the 1980s Godzilla, I think. I'm not a big fan. I The main Godzilla should have been this one. The most recent one. Yes, I've read all that horseshit. Tutorial can be viewed at any time from God of Destruction. Great! I like this Godzilla, because first he looks like an angry crocodile, and second, he's just so much bigger! Look, he's amazingly huge, immediately! He just levels up his power, so he's slightly weak, but he has that sort of size and scale. Ah! So yeah, this is why they didn't bother to texture everything, for some reason. Because they were like, oh, you'll be that much bigger! I mean, this is the maximum size. You basically just get... Uh, the maximum size, you're twice the size, and that's sort of it. Uh, he has... They all have different sets of moves. They all have their proper roars. Which that bitch in the corner ruined! She just... I really... I just want to turn all that off. I had it on because they tell... When you're playing the game, they tell you when to do the noticing stuff. Oh, we get a kaiju in this level. Oh, that'll be fun. 30 seconds until something else comes and fucks us up. Yeah, I just have to destroy a generator. Same, it's same levels. Nothing special. Destroy a generator, destroy generators. I wouldn't be surprised if in the defense my jets destroy generators. Stamp on them. Hide behind the generator so the big whatever's coming can't see me. Now, this is the early level, so I don't be that difficult. Oh, hang on, draw. Survive that. I can probably take this one down in 30 seconds. It's oh, I thought there were loads of bugs. It's just a bunch of dumb helicopters. I don't have the big laser beam attack with this guy, so it's a lot harder to actually kill helicopters. Oh, it's this guy. Okay, so I played this before, and I didn't get Kaiju on this level. Uh, and I, I played the, the when I played the Godzilla, I got different ones. So, I did, no, I did on the first level. I think I think I got Mega Godzilla on the first level. So it appears that the Kaiju are completely random as to who or what turns up and maybe even what power they are. Oh, but see, he's tiny. The tables are fucking turned, you little bastard. So yeah. This is, look at the amount of sh sh screen that's taking up. I don't need to care. I know the generator's on. I battled a fucking 50 million of those fucking things. I'm gonna kick the shit out of this thing. In vengeance. So yeah, there's hardly any game balance because at any point anything could turn up. I'm trying to do his fucking grab move. That's just his regular move. Do this! Thwack! Thwack! That's my big laser beam attack. That for some reason takes up his temperature. Which is his laser beamy chargey thing. When he does do his laser beam, this Godzilla does have a little... But only a very short one. Which you can barely hear. It just sounds like a cow having a bit of a moo. Ha. Right, come towards me. I can walk much faster than you when I'm bigger. That's good. Tonight. Look at these helicopters around me. Watch me not be able to kill any of the fucking things. Ready? Big helicopter destruction move! I think I hit a few. I'm not entirely sure. Ow, laser beamed. Thud. Thud. But yeah, so far we've had one really unfair battle one way, and now we're having one really unfair battle in the other way. Ha, huh, but... Hang on, let's try and block one of his moves. Okay, wait for him to start a move up. Block! And... Oh, just managed to catch that one. That was his special maneuver. Block! Nothing for that. Oh, he did a block as well. Drawing in his face. Okay, ready. Wait for him to... And block! Got hit by it. There's just, there's not enough time to block, even like his laser beam stuff. Do laser beam. Let's get him to a more medium range who does his laser beam. Oh, actually, you give each other temperature when you do that. So he'll probably do it now. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Wait for it. Any moment I could use the laser beam. You sort of almost strafe around them at this point as well. I guess I'm doing it again. Zarg. Extra bonus achieved. Christ knows what for. Spring helicopters probably. You're not going to laser beam me. No, I'll defend that. Ow. Ow, ow. Remember, if this guy was much bigger than me, I would be being decimated right now. As you saw. Slice, just clipping through each other. Was it so hard? So hard to actually put effort into this game. Oh, charge it. Charge the moo cow. There we go. Fedora has been weakened. Good! I will send you back to the friend zone. Where you come from? Oh, ow. Ow. I'm not really doing any damage to me though. I haven't got the, the I'm about to die thing up. And you only have I'm about to die. You have nothing in between. It's you're about to die or you're fine. This is laser beam went for a block, but I was already kind of going for the thing. Oh, now, now I've got the I'm about to die thing. Oh yeah, I picked him up and I bit him so he exploded. All four underneath him exploded. Hooray! And I guess I'm at full health again, but I have no clue. Blarb. There we go. I got two units of evolution in my jigs. Alright, now I'm just going to sit there and look 
pleased with myself. Remember, I won't be able to actually add those until I play this game again with this character. Which is fun. Alright, let's laser beam the shit out of this. And... Laser beamed! That was rubbish. What happens if you go on a hard mode? Actually, I suppose the Kaiju would just be much more powerful than me. Because it's losing power. They powered it. I don't know why we're destroying all the bloody generators. What's inside there, Godzilla? Because it's sort of, I always thought Godzilla was to stop. He's like, humans using nuclear power and bad and stuff. And this Godzilla's just like, yeah, I'm gonna fuck shit up. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna fuck this shit up as shitty as the fucked up can be. Blowing up all your generators, send you- They're in like, this will send us back to the Stone Age. Yep, Stone Age you go. That's where Godzilla wants you. Punch. Good. That ends the level. I didn't bother to get everything. Oh, it's gonna cost me later. If I wasn't so angry crocodile. Just warming my ass now. There we go. Power, etc. Mm. Right, let's go to this though. Oh, look, sometimes. There we go. It actually does say what uh, enemies you get. Sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it's random, I believe. Mecha Godzilla or Batra? Well, I've fought Mecha Godzilla. Hmm. Batra, let's see. Ah, let's see. Let's see if we can get a big Mecha Godzilla to battle. Because I battled a tiny one. Arr, arr, Godzilla, angry. Their G Force operator. Wasn't that a film about hamsters or something? Like a Disney film? I don't know. Right! We could destroy everything, or I could just try and plow through as quickly as possible. Oh, de do. See, that building collapsed, but that building only collapsed when it was destroyed. It's absolutely fine before then. Uh, wait for his attack to finish. Bud. Uh, see, I'd like a game where he plays a, you know, a nice slow lumbering beast. But, uh, L1R1, guys, really? Bud. 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 I wonder if you can play this doing as little damage as possible when you get players. Angelic Godzilla. Or something else. Piss off the lot of you! My finishing attack didn't actually destroy those two buildings in front of me. I will never not be annoyed about that. Smash, smash, smash. And a punch, and a punch. Go straight through it. Like, I don't even need to be here. Roar to dodge that maneuver. I can barely hear now. I turned up nothing but his roar. Destroy all that. Punch, punch, punch. Yeah, I just need more power. Normally you can get rid of these things in like one hit each. Oh, power, didn't do it. Yeah, there's roar. Who knows that little reverberation afterwards? Slice. But look, this level's different because there's three to destroy. Three whole generators. Every level from this point has three whole generators. I didn't actually finish the campaign totally because you have to play it on multiple difficulties to get the later levels. Which means you have to play the campaign... Uh, you'd play... Five times you have to play through the campaign if the unlocks are consistent. Raw. Oh, I got bad. Bad a little bit there. Laser beam it back. So yeah, you have to play through this campaign at least five times. So five hours of just going over the same fucking things. Just to get to the final level. I don't even know if like the different characters have different campaigns. I was... Did you see that? I was going for the charge. Look how long it takes to go invincible. It's like a second delay on that shit. You just can't, like, immediately lose, use it. It's very annoying. That's two. Oh, it's here. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, 60 seconds. I might be able to take this fucking generator down before it turns up. That would be really hilarious. Okay, right. Okay, slice it up. That would actually be super hilarious. Don't even have to actually battle. Oops, it's easy. Raw! No. Went for it. Very much went for it. Charged it. Finish it. Super duper attack it. Come on. Lost it, lost it, lost it, lost it. One more hit, one more hit. Yay, I win! <laughs> Eric Lid! Do I have to fight the kaiju now, or is it just doesn't matter? Just doesn't matter. Just doesn't turn up. It was 30 seconds away, and now it's like, nah. Yeah, see, now we get sort of unknown enemies. Let's go for a, a normal level. Ooh, what's this? Leadership change! Yeah, so because. If you jump between the difficulties, easy, normal, hard, they would just change back and forth. For some reason. They're just like, tag. It's a tag match with Prime Ministers, basically. Yeah. We're inland. How did they lose me? I'm finally, I'm quite glad we finally got an inland area. <laughs> Looks kind of goofy, doesn't it? We finally got an inland area because you can see the really horrible orange line of don't go beyond this point. That's it. There's the water on that side. Ah, no, we're not, we're not inland as much as I thought. But look, you can see the orange over there. And you can probably see just in the distance there, and that's all. 
That's the whole place you're allowed to go. Is this tiny area here. You know what this really, really, really reminds me of? There was a Transformers game for the DS that had... It was like one of the first ever open world games on the DS. There were two of them, in fact, for some fucking reason. Very little def differences. Just to try and sell the same shit twice. But that had lots of little open worlds and one was a city. And it just has that look. It's very small. You just sort of wander around it and there's just not much else going on with it. Stab. Stab. I wonder if you can actually not bother to fight. There's like one kaiju I know it forced you to fight on a, the laggiest level, which is just water. There's actually no anything else to it apart from water. It's just you're in water and there's a big orange fence around the water. So you know where you can't go. Uh... Kai just appeared. Great, we have force. Oh, I was going to try and walk down there, but it's a dead end. Joy. Ooh, new one. It's a sand thing. Oh, it's Sonic the Hedgehog. It's Foxy the Snowman. I don't know what his name is. Barbara. It's Barbara. Get it? Because it's Barb's. Angurus. I don't know how they know all the names for all of these, but all right. I'm going to ignore it and destroy all the things. Might actually work. Cause it's really fucking slow, most likely. Hello, trash that. Can't see shit. There we go. Getting across this area. Oh, it's coming for me. Hang on, draw. Survive the thing. I if that'll knock it back. It's straight behind, so it actually has to sort of beeline through this. I wonder if they have programs going around the buildings into the AI. Draw. Come on, can you go around? But <laughs> no, because quite clearly it's stuck. Oh, I shouldn't have moved. It was quite clearly just stuck on that. Are you just going to destroy this for me? It's fucking adorable. Well done. Charge. Ow. Hey! Got hit by it. Good. I could just stand behind these and battle the kaiju that way. Awesome. Ow. You know what? Fuck you. Don't go towards it. Sort of lock onto it. It's very annoying. Ow. Alright. Hit this off. Hit this off. Go into the building. It's gone underground. That's good. Oh, it's out of the ground again. Let's back me into a corner. Just ignore it. Ignore it and it'll go away. Well done. Good run past. The run isn't that much faster than walking, but do it anyway. All these things to shoot at it. And run. Oh, I'm running at that because he locks on because left and right is stupid. Yeah, they always seem to sort of lock onto shit. No, 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 no. I'd much rather, if I've got the control left or right, use it. They seem to just not trust you to actually turn Godzilla. They're like, oh, Godzilla's a bit tricky to turn. We'll just we'll, won't let you bother with that. Oh, I think it's about to go. I, I did the extra bonus. Don't know how, but I did. There we go. Right, back myself into this corner. And shred. Shred this thing. I really hope this just ends. The kite's just like, well, that's all I was here to stop. We're all the defenders of Earth. Us guys. Oh, very slowly go around. Very slowly go around. Very, very slowly go around. Come on. Do the thing. Do the thing. That's the thing. Oh, he did a sideways attack at me. Not good enough. Not good enough. Not good enough. Destroyed it. Oh, I don't win. I have to actually beat it if it turns up. Great. Now I know. It's fucking tiny. It is just an armadillo I'm fucking up here. Death to you. Death to you. Okay, right. Come on, bring it. Oh. Yeah, I went for a block there. Just didn't have the time to do it. Waiting for this to charge up. That'll do. Thud. Thud. Because I'm bigger, I just back away. Back away. That'll do. Back away. Back away. You think I'm scared of you? Well, I am a little bit. Let's do the big charge move. I like that. Oh, now it's just a corner. Yeah, you just don't have really... The battles just take place in such tiny areas. You don't really have anywhere to go. Mash. Mash. There's no... I can skill involved in this shit. Ow. I even went to block that, but I didn't actually have time in the one second. It's actually... Oh, fucking hell. Just die. Hit it. I like that that cancels everything, that move. It's like, yep. Yeah. It's been weakened. Good. I'll take advantage of it then by biting its tits off. Where's the bite its tits off button? There. It's always there. Is it dead yet? No, I'm leaving. Goodbye. Ow, I said, right, I'm leaving goodbye. No? Alright, fine. Punch a bit more. Ow, oh, Godzilla's dying! Slice. Slice. Alright, we wander off yet. No. Ow. 
Ah, you sell for this. Hell yeah, that's a roar. That's a fucking roar. And now you die. Yep, good. And now I win. Area cleared. And all the helicopters are like, yeah, whatever. And Godzilla's like, yep. We'll just chillax here for now. Don't need no celebration animation. I'll just stand around. 59%. Glorious. So as you can see on the bottom, yeah, I wrote it all the way at the top. Uh, oh, it looks like I've unlocked the other levels. The 21 and 23. They were locked. So when I got to 18, it just stopped last time. Or maybe it's, that's the other mode. Maybe you're unlocking different ones as you go. Maybe the attack and the beachy one are different. Good lord. Good lord. Yeah, this game's a mess. I mean, we look, we're already a third of the way through the campaign. You have to replay it over and over again. And if I want to upgrade this guy at all, I have to restart. Finish and restart. Which is dumb. This game is dumb and disappointing. And I really wanted it to be much, much better. Thank you very much for watching. And to wrap. Enter the domain of the nerd cube. Videos dropping from above like bird poop. Enter the domain of the nerd cube. Videos dropping from above.